actually happened. Aliens show up and immediately grab some titty. <laughs> like you do. <laughs> like you do. Like you do. That leads to nothing, and so now they're at this bougie party. Because they need to be. Sure. And and the pregnant Asian girl, who at this point, all we know is she's pregnant with no baby and daddy overdue, and that she's Asian, gets into this chic-ass party that the Spice Girls are invited mm-hmm. uh, to, I guess. Mm-hmm. And so she goes to this bougie-ass party in, like, regular clothes. Like, she doesn't even try to get all fancy. She's, she's just like... She's pregnant, okay? She doesn't need to wear bougie clothes. I'm just saying they make nice maternity clothes that's not just, like, a sweater. And, like, hey, let me stick out, like, a what, sore what, thumb what, at this bougie party. What was party. his name? Taylor? Taylor left her. She doesn't have any more money. She's... Sucking off of the teeth that is the Spice Girls. That's the only way that she can get any fucking money. No, apparently she's just doing her own shit. She's a single mother. She's become a dreaded statistic in the system. Point is, she goes, well, you know what? I'm not doing anything. I have like two tickets to this party. I'm going to go and ask the Spice Girls in the middle of this bougie party Mm. to be godmothers to my baby, which is overdue, which she had all this time to ask him to be yeah. godmothers. At any point in time, his baby will punch its way out of her vagina, and it just hasn't yet. And so, okay, so she goes and goes to a party, yeah. asks them to be godmother. They all agree, and that's weird enough, I yeah. guess, all right? But at the same time, that could have been done with a phone call or two months prior or two months after. People, <laughs> you could have babies without godmothers or whatever, have you. But nah, she wants to do it now. And in that, we see the Spice Girls inexplicably tell her to fuck off in a weird way. And like, and like the director makes a point for this poor Asian woman to be seen as a goddamn outcast mm-hmm. for no reason. So are you part of the Spice phenomenon? No, I'm just nobody. Oh. Mm. So we're in a wide-angled lens. Then. And then she just Why? fucks right off. And then that's the whole scene. That's her entire arc for that scene. And we'll continue to play the rest of the scene because it gets fucking weird. But the fact that they were kind of like, do you want to come in? Oh, we got to go by. Yeah, be like, oh, man, that's really okay. Bye. And then we're just going to like hold the camera on her for like 10 minutes as like as not knock off Jeff Goldblum. Not, as not Stephen Merchant Jeff Goldblum walks up and tries to hit on her and then walks away. And then she just sits there for another like minute just being like, <laughs> puts an appetizer I down. I guess I'll go now. Bum, ba, dum, ba, dum. And so th- fucking weird. And, it's so, and they do that to her where they just linger on her like look how sad she is yeah. she's not a you're spice nothing girl. and there's no other di- line of dialogue after yeah that. she goes oh I'm just nobody I agree with you walks away <laughs> like what the fuck and and <laughs> it doesn't get any better but then L- Dynasty's intrigued let's see where the rest of that scene goes you do like boys don't you Jerry come on is the Pope a Catholic <laughs> Apparently he is. A Vatican spokesman said the pontiff was hurt and confused by the suggestion that he might not be Catholic. So got- they caused an international incident by making a joke. And by the way, to answer the question, Dynasty, who's confused as shit, uh, that is a secret photographer guy that got hired by the tabloid mm. people to catch the Spice Girls in nefarious acts. And he does so by doing, I'll get to it later, by doing a lot of weird stuff to get to a lot of weird places, including hiding in a fruit bowl. Like you do. But. Like you do. But I'm sorry I didn't mention that they insulted the Pope in that same scene. They, so not only did they tell no, the they Asian girl to fuck the off. Pope. They didn't insult the Pope. They just made like an offhanded comment. And then apparently this is the most thin-skinned Pope. Or in this world, this fucked up fantasy world we're living in, the Spice Girls hold so much power. Their words carry so much fucking weight. By the way, this is John Paul, shift, all right? You respect John Paul II. The, shift the tide of like how Catholicism works. I'm what just saying. Fu- what the fuck I, is this? I mean, the fact that the, the Pope was able to make a comment on it was like, I'm deeply sad if the Spice Girls think this of me. It's like, don't you have other godly things to think about? Yeah. John Paul II at this like time? Like not covering up for molesting boys? Yeah. Hey, he's a saint. Literally, uh, he's, literally, well, he's a yeah, saint. And so... <laughs> yeah, sure. It, it's shit like this where it's like, a, it's a big deal, but I'm too, like, the... It's only the Pope is a big deal, but I'm too busy worrying about the sad Asian girl because I actually oh, feel yeah, yeah, for her. Yeah. No, it's one she... of those things it, it, because it, it comes in such close proximity. You're like, wow, they hate pregnant Asian women and the Pope. Okay. Right. And All so right. I'm sad about the Asian girl, but then he, I'm cowling. Wait, wait, so she just insulted the Pope. That's a huge implication. That would make a lot of Catholics mad. But then that poor Asian girl, she just got outcasted by knockoff Jeff Goldblum. I don't like that. And so I'm feeling all types of ways, but they're like, wait a minute. We got to go to Milan. So they go to Milan real quick. 
put on another show and where they do the rehearsal once again for like a full minute and a half. They cut it short and then they do the whole thing over again. And so then part of that was that this time they go, we're going to put some gratuitous ass shots in this. And there it is. Why put this in a movie knowing that there's going to be little girls that are probably going to be watching this? Who fucking knows? Like this is aimed for like preteen young girls Spice up your life, and there's just... Spice up that ass! just gratuitous... Like, that's an ass shot. Yeah, it is. Like, that is... I don't know I, what the, I don't know what you want me to say. I don't know. It's an ass shot. It's a Spice Girls movie. I don't know. Like, I don't know this fan base. I don't know what they're into. Maybe they are into, like, dudes with, like, fucking, like, cut-off chaps that are all purple. I and the thing was is that that was a, quote-unquote, compromise from guys who were shirtless in sailor suits with shorts. That's not any better. That's like actual ass cheek. At least the other one's showing off abs and thigh and all sorts of things. And then they make a bulge comment earlier in that scene. Well, that that joke's for the parents in the audience. Yeah, so, yeah. exactly. Because you're hoping the kids don't remember it. Exactly. But, uh, they're going to ask, what's a bulge? And then they Shut the to- fuck up. Exactly. <laughs> Hit their kids barely. Yeah. Yeah. According to it's, it's England. I'm pretty uh, sure that's how parenting works. I'm pretty sure either. Mm-hmm. Then this movie gets fucking weird. <laughs> And this is the part where it was a twofer for me because Sammy ain't seen shit mm. and, and he doesn't know too much shit about also certain true. people. Also but true. we'll continue because I'm, I'm not even joking, guys. Like, I, I, I have to break it down. Let me just break it down for everybody here and everybody out there. Beyond the visual assault that goes on with them going to practice, yes. that yes. goes beyond them performing, arguing the dream sequences, the flash forwards, the mm. flash backwards, mm. it's already going into a lot of different places that are just nuts. Can mm. you agree with that? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. <sighs> So their van breaks down and they have to pee. And the bathroom's all in the bus are broken. So, so yeah, that's a that's a plot device right there. You see that bus? That's their bus. Where they're going in the middle of the night, I don't know. Why they're going in the middle of the night, I, they don't have any show. They flew back from Milan. Whatever. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. So all the bathrooms are broken. So the next logical thing they do is they have to pop a squat on the side of the road. That's... You know, that's on brand for the Spice Girls because when you think Spice Girls, you think sultry, mm-hmm. sexual, mm-hmm. peeing on the side of a tree, <clears throat> shitting while squatting in the woods. Yeah. Exactly. That's very on brand. This is how you know, like, nobody is really watching over this movie because they said, oh, no. we're going to pee on the side of the road, which makes me think that they actually had to do this because it's a story, it's an idea. Are you saying from that, the Spice Girls? Are you saying that this movie, this whole movie, is autobiographical? Because if so, that makes the next scene really fucking weird. And Dynasty, this is all pretty straightforward stuff, right? He says, "I don't know what the fuck is going on." Well, trust me, I Just watched wait. the whole movie. I watched the whole movie with Ian, and I still don't know what the fuck is going on here. The girls need to go to the bathroom again. Fix them. Listen. I love these girls, and I'll do anything for them, but I won't do that. Okay, so at that point, everyone knows who that is. Dynasty, do you know who that is? No. Good, because I didn't know who that is. Not that, that, not that guy, but, but the guy before, the bus driver. Do you know what that line is referencing? The, the, uh, I would do anything, but I won't do that. Do you know what that's referencing? Uh, I won't do anything for money. But I won't do that. Meatloaf is the driver for the Spice Girls. I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. And at this point, I'm like, wait, fucking Meatloaf is the driver? And then <laughs> it's that the moment. What the fuck is going you, on? You look down, and the coffee cup says Kobayashi, and you drop it, and you're like, holy shit, Meatloaf was in the movie the whole time. And that was the thing. I was like, wait a minute. So that means that there was people that were watching this movie where that got revealed to them, yeah. and they had to take that in stride. Yeah. But then I had to take it in this stride, and I'm like, wait, so the, the people that were watching it were probably groaning at that joke, like, oh, he's making that joke. For, for me, that was a revelation. Oh, see, I would have, I would have, I would have, if I were in the theater, I would have stood up, started applauding, taken my clothes off, and started masturbating furiously. So did you know that was Meatloaf by looking at him? Uh, in, it, it wasn't until, not this scene, but a little bit after that where I'm like, this guy looks really familiar. Is that Meatloaf? And then I like looked at my phone, I'm like, son of a bitch, that is Meatloaf. And so yeah. <laughs> what the fuck meatloaf. are you doing in this? <laughs> I think that there's a lot of people that was like, you, that uh, you would be in Fight Club the next year. Dude. Why are you here? Why are you in this? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, yeah, Bob with bitch tits. Like, why are you in this? <laughs> he had to get his start of his movie career somewhere, Man. you know. And so <laughs> Meatloaf, so that was news to me. Meatloaf was in this movie. And I had paused it to find out that Meatloaf was in this movie. Mm. 
<laughs> then I pressed play again. Oh and, shit! And so I, I had to, I had to press play. Pre- I had to press play. I had to press oh, play I, again. Oh no, he's in Johnny RPP. I didn't say all that, but <laughs> Dynasty, I'm, I'm sorry for what you're gonna have to just, watch, and all of you out strap there. Strap in. That is not a dream sequence. Better than sex. I'm giving it right now. That that, dynasty. That was not a dream sequence. You saw dream sequences. You saw flash forwards and flash backwards. In the continuity, in the continuity of this movie, this actually happened. Aliens show up and immediately grab some titty. Like you do. <laughs> like you do. Like you do. You know? And, and it's not an accident. They purposely put this in the movie. Mm-hmm. And, it, it, and, and they it, can it, understand alien speak, by the way, which is my favorite part. Right. Okay, they, yeah, the aliens I'm, I'm, come down, they're like, they're like uh, oh, okay, 3Ks or 4Ks? Okay. So the Spice Girls talk to aliens. The Spice Girls speak alien. They really can do everything. So, yeah. they, so no, the Pope, the, the Pope I, should be so so fucking lucky. Right? And so so the Spice Girls, they meet aliens, again, they're groped by an alien. <laughs> And Intergalactic then, sexual assault. And then, That's one thing I wasn't expecting when I sat down to watch this movie. It's, but here's the, here's the kicker, though. The toilets still are fixed, so then they shit in the woods after that. Yeah, oh yeah, Immediately well, yeah, after, yeah. they shit in the woods, yeah. and they cut past that, which I'm glad they did, because yeah. they should have cut past this whole movie. I wonder if the aliens so. came back and collected their shit, but maybe I'm, maybe I'm overthinking <laughs> Maybe this. that's uh, the... Well, they, they right away grabbed some titties, so, mm. I mean, they, I think they're a little bit too fanatic for my taste, so... <laughs> So that was I was I was literally like row, 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 when they did that I was like that alien just grabbed her tit and I rewinded it. I was like yeah. yeah that alien totally did I was like holy shit and that's the weird thing because I'll get to it near the end because we have to still we have to clip along because there's so much to talk about and we're running out of time so let's just get back to it so then they get sent to a musical dancing boot camp okay but all in the same movie but all in the so, same so movie so they go to the regular boot camp. Or, no, sorry, it's dancing boot camp, but then now it's regular boot camp, and Ginger Spice literally eats shit. Like, I'm pretty sure that wasn't a fake take. Ah. Like, I'm pretty sure she tried it and got fucked up. Let's look at that again. (laughs) Yeah, she ate shit. And so... So they're doing boot camp, and like, so, okay, by the way, okay, I'm going to cut back to it, because then Victoria is there, she's in heels, and then they sleep in a spooky house where a man jumps out of their fucking toilet. (laughs) Ha ha! This is happening, and the thing is, he's wet too. Mm. He is moist. Uh, I believe moist. Yeah, as I was say, I think moist is the proper terminology. I don't know how long he's been in there, and frankly, I don't want to know. And it takes a picture of it. What the fuck? All right. Oh, you, you know he was waiting in there to see some vagina. That, no, that's what I'm saying. He Come was on. getting shit on by the Spice Girls. This Being guy. Like, oh, golden shower all over me. Oh. <laughs> it's. So, I don't know why he has an accent. I don't know either. He's British. He, yeah, of course, that he works. Does. I was trying to sound anyway. exotic, I guess. And so, by the way, now the little girls who are watching this movie have to be freaked out about uh, yeah. guys crawling out about of the toilet. About bald white men crawling out of their toilets and I. <laughs> Mommy, mommy, I don't know what to do. I don't want the creepy white man to come out of the toilet. I'm never famous again. <laughs> I, I don't want that. Maybe this movie is really what killed the Spice Girls. Like all of their fan community was just so turned off by this. They were so traumatized by this. Oh man, I can't wait to be a Spice Girl. Wait, we got to shit in the woods? Yeah. Oh my and god. And get groped by aliens? This is not what I, I dreamed. I don't want this. This is not how they, I imagined. They take a CD and break it in half. They're like there is no god. Ah. <laughs> Spice World's not for me. Ah. <laughs> I'm fed up with this world. <laughs> every, every spice betray me. <laughs> every spice. So now, okay, now, now, <laughs> Dynasty. We're leaving out. I'm, I'm talking to Dynasty because because Jeremiah was late to the party. He probably still doesn't know what's going on. But Dynasty's been here the whole time. Does Dynasty know what's going but on? I don't know. No, he doesn't. Point is, so now we have to describe two sets of characters oh, yeah. in this film that I've left out so far other than Roger Moore. Mm. There's a camera crew that's recording a documentary about the Spice Girls. With Alan okay. Cumming is the, like the director. And he, albeit shittily directing this thing. And then there's a two-man crew entirely unrelated to them. 
which got me confused as all shit because mm-hmm. I thought they were in lieu or tied together. No, there's a documentary crew and then there's a major motion picture duo that are pitching Spice Girl movies to the manager of the Spice Girls who I thought was a bad guy, but he just looks evil. He just plays a lot of bad guys. And so in this sequence, we get the second pitch, I think, from for the Spice Girls movies, not from the not from the fucking um, not from the documentary people, but from the big producer oh, no. people. Oh, no. And if it's confusing you guys, it's confusing me too. And as strange as it is, it's the most grounded visual representation in this movie. As as crazy as it sounds, these guys are describing a movie that they want to pitch for the Spice Girls, and then the Spice Girls act it out. It's actually pretty straightforward. He has to call in the Spice Force Five. <laughs> Master of Disguise. Wait, that, that's right. <laughs> Fucking Bob Hoskins is in this. <laughs> Fucking Super Mario. Go power. <laughs> and that's it. That's the scene. I, I have two thoughts on this scene. Thought number one, I really want to see this movie. Thought number two, isn't this the exact same show that Uma Thurman's character in Pulp Fiction was auditioning for? Fox Force 5? Potentially. No, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it was. Not she, Spice explained. Force 5, but no, yeah, yeah, you're right. Fox Force, yeah, where it's like there's like the 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 the, the counter espionage person, the, the explosives expert, the the slut, you know? Like it's I'm pretty sure if you go watch Pulp Fiction, it's the exact same fucking show that she was auditioning for. Quentin Tarantino references in Spice World. Love it. Lock it down. Love it. Now I bring that up, that scene up, not because it's cutesy, but it's it's coherent. That I'll give it. And secondly, It'll come in handy later in terms of understanding how this movie fucking ends. Because before we get, because we're going to get there pretty quickly here. But before we get there, I shit you not, folks, let me show you some kids falling out of a fucking boat. Oh, Oh, shit! That was not supposed to happen! And more drama could. No, oh, you cut it off right uh, before my favorite part of that, which is the TV's doing the newspaper thing, and then he hits it, and then it straightens out, <laughs> and then it wipes clothes. And then it wipes. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, that was oh, okay. God, I don't know. So, yeah, but anyway, that happens in the movie. Okay, so is there a plot? I don't fucking know. We're just gonna I'll go sit. on a boat for a little bit and throw some fucking kids overboard. Hey, there's a fucking TV spinner around. Who gives a shit? So that's the thing. So they didn't get the day off, so they were being spontaneous. Is that what happened? I, sure. Is that what happened? Okay. So they were being spontaneous. They hijack a boat. A guy seizing his fucking opportunity to be like, Spice Girls are on my Fuck yeah, the Spice Girls are on my boat. That guy is a fucking champion if he gets them back to shore safely. But no, he squatters it by crashing the fucking boat and knocking these kids out of a fucking boat and nearly killing them. These are contest winners, by the way. They want a contest to spend the day with the Spice Girls, and this is how it ends up like. So that's the thing. These little girls, not only they shit in the side of the woods, creepy men in the toilets, but if you go hang out with the Spice Girls, you're going to fall on the fucking boat. It's funny, because the whole time we're doing this, I'm like recontextualizing Spice World, and I'm like replacing the Spice Girls with like the DT crew, and all of a sudden, it becomes a way better movie. Like, if you kept the rest of the movie exactly the same, <laughs> but it starred the DT crew, I'm like, God, this would be a great fucking I movie. I mean, look, and the way they go down is fucking aggressive. <laughs> Fuck your kid! Uh, I would have loved it if one of the kids went like, uh, like uh, he went and like hit uh, that little like plank or whatever, like head first, just pop, just big blood stain all over it. They're just like, oh and shit! And that's the thing: the tabloids should be in fucking yelling at them. They should be angry. That's a legit story. Spice Girls steal a boat, injure some kid, injure some kids' lives. But no, they're fine. Nobody has any yeah. real problem with them. They all they sold out their concert anyway. That's fine. And hey. What time is it? It's YouTube comment. Oh, it's YouTube oh, comment man. time. Welcome, YouTube. Thank you for watching. Subscribe down below. Like the video. Like it again. And like it a third time to hit that triple like. I love it when you do that. Thank you for watching uh, this week's show, which is Spice World. <laughs> and thank you also for watching last week's episode, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Ian, your favorite movie. <laughs> I, I'm just like the, the distance between this week's movie and last week's movie. Like, science cannot measure the distance between those two things. And we will try to do that by reading your comments from last week. So, like I said, leave a comment down below about Spice World. We'll read it next week. Be sure to go to DTMerch.com. It's right there. Go right there, DTMerch.com. It's all new, all updated, and there's exclusive shirts there. So, go, DTMerch.com. Do it right now. But, Ian, mm. let's get to the first one. Let's read it. It's her, them. This is the number one comment. 
Ah, uh, PG movies before political correctness, before whining parents cried about movies turning children violent like they do today. When some directors in Hollywood had the power to tell the ratings board to go F themselves because they had the backing of the studios involved and that they, they knew they would be pulling the money. Damn, I really miss my early childhood of movies. Kids are just soft, Ian. They're soft. They can't deal with it anymore. I mean, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I know I'm, I'm more just kind of caught up in this whole like thing about the ratings board. Uh, they did have to change things in that movie. That's what he's saying. I think he's trying <laughs> yeah. to imply it. But point being, uh, no, yeah, tell no, that no, to no. the kids it's, who are like six years old watching Deadpool. Yeah, say well, that. yeah, yeah. But it, it does kind of go back to what I was talking about last week uh, with with Raiders, where it's that thing I do miss. Where it, you know, for being ostensibly a family movie, it's it's tough. You know, there's people get sh- you know bleed when they get shot. Like there's actual violence. They get fucked up. You get really fucked up. And uh, Ian, this guy will share your sentiment with this. Danny Medina. Seriously, Sammy, you haven't seen this shit? Or you haven't seen shit if you're reviewing this. It's just a core concept. Core, yeah. core concept of the show. Um, let's go to ZM83. I remember seeing these movies as a kid, and I was aware of the PG rating. I knew I grew up in the PG-13 era. So when the dude got chopped up by a propeller, I felt special. Like I was somehow seeing something I wasn't supposed to see. Really changed the way I look at film and story, and I appreciate it when films for younger audiences get a bit heavy and aren't afraid to shy away from the realities of a situation. Couldn't have put it better myself. I agree with you 100% on that one there. Um, this, uh, This one made me laugh a lot. It's a little bit of a story time, but not too bad. I remember seeing the last few minutes of this in the theaters when I was six. I begged my mom to take me to see an American Werewolf in London, which had been marketed as a comedy. I lost my shit big time. The theater apologized and allowed us to see Raiders instead. But as soon as we sat down, it was the fastest face melting <laughs> time. Lost my shit again. Did not get back till I was 11. Two excellent movies scarred my psyche all in the same day. You got some shitty parents, man. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> oh, man. And I'm, I'm sorry my parents didn't let me watch spooky movies. Kleinart. Had to go watch the full version on DT. Favorite series ever, and this video made my day. Aww, well, thank you, man. Thank you very Aww. much. And be sure to go to DT, uh, DT.com, doubletoasted.com, <laughs> and go find NDTMerch.com. Doug Unfunny. Video games pay homage to movies like this, not rip off, Sammy, because unlike you, those people grew up watching these flicks. Also, you are soft as baby shit. So what is PG, except for the heads exploding, the violence is not graphic. I mean, not graphic is one thing. A Nazi <laughs> getting shredded to bits and blood splattering everywhere. Ah, the yeah, it's kind of yeah, graphic, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty graphic. Um, this one is special for me, but mm. it's, it's actually nice that this guy got in touch. Dep fan. Awesome running into you, Sammy, at Disneyland a few months back. When I went to Disneyland, mm. I was on my way out to the parking lot, and some guy goes, sh- bumps my shoulder. I'm like, what the hell is this? He goes, you Sammy from Double Toasted? I said, yeah, I am. He goes... Hey, man, you guys' work makes it a far away, man. Appreciate what you guys do. And then he rose up the escalator, never to be seen again. <sighs> it was nice. It was very nice. And it was at the end of the day. I was tired, and it was a nice little moment. Thank you uh, for You're reaching like, out. Where did that guy go? That guy died three years ago. Oh, shit. He still might not be real. Yeah, so uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't buy it. The last time I tried to rock a fedora with a leather jacket, my girlfriend left me. <laughs> As she fucking should have. And, and someone said that you were missing the fedora. You could have been Indiana Jones. No. You could be Indiana Jones <laughs> no, at any time. No, that's not happening. No. It's not happening? No. You're not going to no. wish a fill? Let's just wrap the show up. All right, we're going to wrap the show up. But first, <laughs> let's unwrap these gifts real quick. Ah, just grab shit. them real quick. Uh, Jeremiah sent Showgirls wow. and The Raid earlier in the year for yeah. gift. And so... Now I have, ooh, you get? you're going to love this one. Leon get? the Professional. Oh, nice. So that is going to be on our queue nice, as well. Nice, what nice. did you get, Ian? Away from know, the let me uh, open this shit up. Let me see here. <laughs> oh, nice. I got uh, Better Watch Out. Better Watch Out. What's uh, that? It's a uh, Christmas uh, horror movie came out last year. Played Fantastic Fest. I haven't seen it, but I've heard it's very, very good. And Dynasty. Thank you. Oh, he got it. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Jeremiah's right there in the corner. And lastly, Dynasty got me this gift right here. <laughs> he knows how much I hate Olaf. So I'm ripping his fucking head off. You're cleaning that up. I am cleaning it up. All right, cool. So I'm ripping his head off, and that's what we're going to do, and I'll, I'll spend some time uh, destroying it uh, 20 minutes before the next show. So with that said, it's time to get out of here, so let's get out of here. Ian, thank yes. you for joining us. 